Yeah, this is a stunning upset. Creedale Calhoun spent three decades in the state legislature. Tonight, some are comparing Deborah Dixon to Floyd Mayweather, who took down a political heavyweight. Technicians busy Wednesday morning at the Hines County Courthouse scanning the last absentee and affidavit ballots from the Hines County Democratic primary last week. Even before all the votes are counted, one candidate believes her race is already over. Based on the results from last week, you feel like you've already won this race. Yes, based on the results that we got a night of election, I was the winner. District 3 Supervisor Candidate Deborah Dixon says based on the initial vote tally, she got 50% plus one. Dixon believes she shouldn't have to be in the runoff election with incumbent Creedell Calhoun. It might be a possibility that she might be right, uh, but we won't know until the election is certified. Once the party certified the election and the percentages are tallied up by the system. According to Dixon, a printout from last Tuesday's count includes write-in votes, undervotes, and overvotes. Dixon says by state law, those votes can't be counted as part of the total. Circuit Clerk Zach Wallace agrees with Dixon. Once the election is certified and everything is official, the only thing that will be counted is the actual votes for the candidate, not the write-ins, not the undervotes, not the undervotes. Some voters receive absentee ballots printed on letter-sized paper. In a scene that's hard to imagine in 2023, a member of the resolution board has to copy the votes from the regular paper onto a scannable ballot. And that's bringing up a lot of questions saying that uh, the resolution board is not marking the same uh, marking this on the original ballot. And a short time ago, we spoke with Deborah Dixon. She's thanking the voters of District 3 for giving her a chance to serve them. She doesn't have a Republican opponent in November, so she is one step closer to being the next supervisor for District 3 in Hines County. For now, we're live at the courthouse. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>